Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here at New York Comic Con 2018. Of course, with Sideshow Andy. Good to see you How's at the Sideshow going, booth. Uh, now, we've talked yeah. to you a lot about your superhero collectibles, uh, but I wanted to focus a little bit on some of the creature and horror stuff. Of course. Let's talk about some of these aliens. Yeah, you got it, my friend. So we, um, and not many people realize we started off as a horror company. Our first ever license was Universal Monsters. You know, we'd, we'd make a bunch of cheesy jokes, and but the main thing is like Sideshow's roots are soaked in blood. You know, we're a horror company first and foremost, and a lot of the detail that we bring to our pieces comes from a background of creating hyper-realistic horror shit, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so right here we have a few uh, pretty badass aliens and xenomorphs. Um, uh, the first piece here is the wolf predator. So um, this is in conjunction with Legacy, uh, obviously a legendary scale bust. Uh, mixed media piece, uh, which I really love. We use different um, different casting materials, uh, different uh, plastics and poly resins to not only get extra detail on the on the pole to try and get you all the detail on that stuff, but a little bit more flexibility just to make the thing safer for shipping as well. Mm. Um, so we this was really an experiment in different materials, and it worked out great. Um, the piece looks pretty darn cool and it's been really popular at the show today. Moving on to your Alien Warrior, something that's interesting of mm -hmm. the Xenomorphs and the Alien franchise is they're they're very adaptable in terms of design, right? Yeah, you can kind of yeah. get creative and not just have to design a Xenomorph that you saw in the first film, the second mm -hmm, film. Mm -hmm. There are no other films, by the way. <laughs> uh, so uh, when you're working with the licensor for this, mm -hmm. how do you go about the back and forth of coming up with something that's going to be unique to Sideshow. Well, this this one is actually now part of our Mythos line. Um, you might be familiar with it with our Star Wars Mythos pieces. We did a Terminator Mythos piece recently. Mm, yep. Uh, where over time working with licenses, they trust us, they like what we do. They've given us the permission to start to explore our own interpretation of characters that we love. This one, we went a step further. We actually collaborated with Legacy, uh, for, formerly Stan Winston Studios, and said to them, got the OG team, and said to them, you worked on Aliens, what if you got a chance to design the Alien? To take wow. your inspiration from Giga's work, but what would you have done? What would your dream Alien be? So this was letting these guys just have free reign to do their own version of the Xenomorph. I can see some inspiration from the Alien Queen, which is mm -hmm. behind us in yep, terms of having yep. the extra arms yep. in the center, but even the, the texture of it, the extra ridges on the head, even though you have a, a Jonesy, I presume, down there, it's <laughs> yep, not yep. what you've seen. It's a twist. Yep, that's the, that's the idea behind Mythos, is you want uh, something, whether it's in the silhouette, in certain iconic elements, that it's still recognizable be the character that you love, mm. but it's got a sideshow twist to it. There's something that makes it unique, um, and, it's, and it's always a love letter. That's the great thing about Mythos. It's always people who adore the characters anyway, right. but it's being able to have that freedom to experiment and write their, their dream story you know, for that particular character. And throwing Jonesy in there as well was just, just awesome. My favorite part of the whole statue. But yeah, the idea that, that he's in there ties it to the movies a little bit, and, and he's such a beloved character in his own right, we had to throw him in. Is this paint finish what you're going for for the final product in terms yes. of there's a lot of some matte elements, some shiny, and then the translucence on top is so Absolutely. nice. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely the way it's going to look. Um, with all of the alien pieces, when, when you actually see the, um, the original props, when you start to work with the artists, they're, they're almost like a ceramic. Mm. It's almost like a glaze on a piece of pottery, the way that they did it. It's incredible pearlescence. And even though this is in, in its, its browns and sepias, we wanted to retain that. And the mixture of the, um, the, the gloss and the matte like, really adds a lot of extra depth to it, especially with all, inside the carapace and inside the mouth. Still got the translucent teeth. Yep. You know, trying to, a lot to try and capture your eye, keep you entertained with the piece for a long time. And then finally, the Alien Queen behind that. Now, I assume this is a different scale than the rest of this. Because <laughs> what I like about the Alien Queen piece is you also have other xenomorphs underneath it for scale. Yes. Yeah, she, she's a, a really great complementary piece to a, a, another mythos piece, which was the Alien King that mm. we brought out last year. Um, but giving you these, uh, these extra alien warriors to give you the sense of scale was very important to us. Um, and this was actually with the OG team from Legacy. We got to work with the guys who created the Queen. So um, the head and parts of the body were actually uh, cast from their original miniature. Um, the rest pieces have been lost due to just damage over the years. They helped us recreate this character and then Legacy just, just went full on redesigning, getting the band back together, 
bring the queen back to life again. And there's details in there I never spotted. Um, I, I didn't realize she had these cool little frilly wings on her back and that her, her back feet are almost like high heels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I, you know, for shame on me, I didn't spot that. But like in the statue, I've fallen in love with this character all over again. And hopefully other people will too. And I love for the team at Legacy, it allows them to go through this exercise, this creative exercise of concepting and then bringing something to life, which adds to their portfolio. And when they get to work on feature films, they can show like, you know, we've already designed something yeah. that, that can work, that's okay. modern. These guys were literally like, I could, I could re-sculpt her from memory. She was my life. Yeah. You know, it was the piece that they loved. They did. It, was, it honestly felt like getting the band back together. It really did. And, um, and we're so proud to be able to, to bring this to life for collectors. It means the world to us. Awesome. It's good to see you, Andy. Thank, Thank you, you so much for sharing with us some of the stories of these characters and creatures. And we'll see you at the next con. My pleasure. See you soon.